Welcome back to FaceitNet. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you a very interesting tool that especially we use in digital forensic environment or data mining. So the tool name is called Meltigo. So let's have a look at this, what is Meltigo. So Meltigo is an open source intelligence and graphical link analysis tool. So that's mean we don't really need to buy the um, tool to use it on a community edition. So it's an open source tool. It has got the pro versions which you can pay and buy it for a large scale um, data analytics. But if you want to use it, you can use the community edition. In this video, I'm going to really use the community edition. And it's a data mining tool that's mines a varieties of open source data resources and use the data to create graphs for analyzing connections. So that's when like, you know, you can collect information from internet and it put all those collected information in a graph as you can see here. So if you go and find the Multigo domain, then it find out the Multigo domain certificates and when the certificate was purchased and it identifies and provides the IP address of those domain name. So likewise, it put all those information in a graphical format for you to easily uh, visualize the data. So the graphs allows you to easily make connections between the information such as name, email, organizational structure, domain names, documents, etc, etc. So it gives you a comprehensive visual overview. So it's integrate data from public sources, especially open source intelligence, uh, commercial vendors and internal sources. And then it's put all into the transform hub. So ultimately we can find, as I said in the earlier one, name, email address, DNS name, IP addresses, website details, domain names details and subdomain details and many more information we can gather it from this tool. So this tool has different versions. So Multico Excel is the premium version for the large data analytics. Uh, Classic is again a pay version, which is a pro version, includes all the APIs. The one that we are going to use is the Multico CE free version with the limited API. So technically it has got a limited transform set that I'm going to use the transform set to gather and visualize the information. So what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to install this on a Kali Linux machine and then we're going to see how does, uh, we're going to see how we can use this tool to gather information. All right. As you can see here, this is the Maltico website. So if you go to this website under plans, Maltico community, and then click on download for free. Here we have all three options, Windows, Linux, and Mac. So in my case, I'm going to install the Linux version because I'm going to use it on the Kali Linux, but I'm not going to download this URL and do it. What I'm going to do is, I got my Kali Linux machine. I'm going to try it through my Kali Linux. All right, now we are back to the Kali Linux machine. So in this machine, I'm going to download the Maltico and then install it. To download and install a tool on a Linux machine, there are various options we can do, or there are various ways that you can use to install a software. So first option, I'm going to show you the first option here is to go to the Maltico website under the plans, community, and you can download the tool. So you have an option here to download. So when you click the button, it will download, but I'm not going to download it as I have just downloaded this tool, so I don't want to download it. So you can simply click here and it will download. So once it downloaded, you can see the tool is here. Then you can use the dpkg-i command to install the 
.dep file. So that's the step one. The step two is to use the URL. See here, you have a download URL. You can copy this URL. So once you copy the URL, what you can do is you can use the command line. So if you go to the command line, and if you use sudo wget and minus p, so you can see here sudo wget minus p, and then the path. So I'm just specifying the path to download and save the file. As you can see, I specified the Car Linux desktop and I just downloaded the file. So this URL, the one that I have copied here, I got it from here. So this is the URL, right? So I got that URL and then all you have to do is just hit enter and enter the password. That will start the download. So you can see this is the second one. Again, it's downloading uh, the dep file. The third and the easiest option is I'm going to use a new tab and use sudo apt install. So this m a l t e g o. So this is the easiest way that you don't need to worry about downloading a dep file and install it. This is the easiest way to do it and hit enter. Enter the password that it will start download the software and install by itself. So I'm using the third method, which is the easiest method to install any tool on a Linux machine. So it's going to download. As you can see, it's just downloading. It will take a couple of seconds. Once the download is finished and installed, then we will go and see how we can use this tool. Right, as you can see now, the installation is completed. So what I can do is I can go here and I can search the tool Multigo. So click here. So now that it's going to open the tool, Community Edition 4.3. The one that I'm going to use, as you can see, the free edition here so click run and it's going to go and ask for the registration i'm pretty sure so click accept next there you go so you need to enter the details below to log into the community server so if you don't have one you need to register so click register here i'm going to register here right so provide the details it's a compulsory so you need to provide a number so what I'll do I'll finish the registration and then I'll continue all right so my registration is completed so I'm going to enter the power information here And the password, you're going to enter the capture. So that's to confirm it's a human. And click next. There you go, it's trying to log in. Yep, it's done. Next, it's creating the transform set. Right, so the transform set is done and click next. Automatically send error reports next. So you can use your default system browser, that's fine. Next, and privacy mode you can say normal or you can say stilt. Uh, um, if you are an investigator, you can put the stilt next. Go anyway, away. I have done this before. If this is your first time, you can pick whatever the option it suits you best and click finish there you go my community edition is ready 
Right, so that's the multi-goal, the client desktop version or the client com version of the community edition 4.3. So now, if you want, to, so the one that we have installed is this one. So if you click on the installed one, you can see the only standard transform set is the only one installed. The other ones are not installed. That's all right. We are happy and enough with this transform set. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this tool to gather and visualize some invest information about a specific domain. So that's on the next video.